Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. Today's video is going to be a clothing haul. This is for spring and summer clothes that I purchased for myself. I actually did a big kind of wardrobe clean out over the winter time and needed some new pieces. So this time I actually made like a list of where I had gaps in my closet um, and what kinds of things that I needed just so that I wasn't buying things that I already had enough of. So I really needed a lot of casual dresses there is a huge misconception, I feel like, that when you wear a dress, it has to be for a special occasion. Um, and I have, for many, many years, never followed that rule. I think that you can wear a casual dress any day of the week, any time, for nothing in particular. I just think if you can find, you know, a casual dress, you can honestly wear it with flip-flops and make it look cute. So I needed some new casual dresses. I needed a couple new tops, a couple pairs of shoes. So I want to show you guys what I purchased. I'm going to try and remember to tell you guys where I purchased the items and if I can remember prices, I'll try and do that as well. Um, a little bit, I guess, of my theory with clothes is for jeans, I always, most of the time I purchased, I purchase higher end jeans only because I hold on to my jeans for a long time. I have lots of jeans in my closet right now that are literally five to 10 years old and they look brand new. Um, a lot of times what I try to do is, although I love keeping up with the trends and I usually always kind of know what's on trend or what's, you know, a new, you know, the new styles or the current trends are, as much as I love keeping up on that, I tend to not buy a ton of super trendy items only because I know that next year, you know, even sometimes next season, that trend has kind of come and gone. So I try to buy items that I can mix and match and dress up or dress down so that, you know, a normal regular t-shirt, I can dress it up or I can just throw it on with jeans and go. So I try to find items that I can, again, dress up or down. And I also try, try to find items that are obviously flattering and not so trendy, again, that they'll be out of style next year and I won't want to reach for them. So let me go ahead and show you what I picked up. After I show you guys the items, I'm going to either show you them on, um, on the body in video form or in photographs, um, depending on what I decide to do. So regardless, you'll be able to see like try on pictures. Uh, I don't think I'm going to try everything on, but I'm definitely going to try on a majority of it. Um, I'm definitely going to try on all the dresses. Again, I'll tell you guys where they're from and all of that good stuff. So let's go ahead and I have my clothes here, if you can see. I think I'm going to stand up so you guys can see the items better. So this first dress here I purchased at Marshall's, and it's like a baby blue dress, and it has this white kind of design on it. It is fully lined underneath. The back looks like this, and it's super cute. It sort of hits me right at the top of the knee. I will show you guys this one on. Um, this was in the junior section, actually, at Marshall's. I got a size medium, um, and I think it was about $16. I think it was like $16.99. Super cute and flowy. I have a bunch of different sandals I can wear this with, and if I did need to dress it up, I would just throw on a pair of like nude heels and a cute necklace but it does look super casual on as well. And for $16.99, I feel like you really can't beat that. So here's what it looks like, super cute. Next up is this dress here. I actually posted like a little teaser picture on my Instagram of this dress. It is really flowy as you can see, so it's not form fitting. It is like a true fire engine red with these black stripes. It has a little bit of like a mock turtleneck neckline. I also got this in Marshalls in the Juniors department. The brand on this is Hot Kiss and it is a size medium. That's the brand, Hot Kiss. And this was, I think, $14.99, guys. So I don't really think you can beat a cute little casual dress for $14.99. Again, I feel like this you could easily dress up or down. Uh, the other day, I just wore this with some black sandals and it was really, really casual and easy to wear. And it also is just really flattering on. I feel like a lot of different body types could wear this style dress. I absolutely love it. And I actually also got the same dress in black and white. And again, Marshalls, size medium. And actually it was $12.99. I think I said $14.99. So it was $12.99. This one I haven't worn yet. It's just the same one in black, and it was only $12.99, which I thought was a really, really good deal. 
So that is that one. I'm gonna show you the dresses first, as you can tell. This next one I actually got at Target. It is an olive green and black stripe. Um, sort of the same style where it's just kind of loose and flowy. It is a size medium. I actually would have preferred to get a large or a small in this, but they didn't have a small. They had a medium or a large. It was a little bit loose, um, but I still can make it work. So I got this in the medium. I think this was $19.99. Um, again, at Target, and is, it is the most uh, Massimo brand, Mosimo brand, the Target brand, I guess you could call it. And again, it's olive green and black striped. And then the last dress I got was this one here. It is a black and charcoal gray, again, with the mock turtleneck look dress. It's very flowy and cute and flattering. Again, at Marshalls, this is a size small. I don't think they had a medium and actually the small fit. And this one was $16.99 and it also looks super cute with some sandals. This one is definitely more casual. I don't feel like I could do as good of a job dressing this one up just because it's tie-dye, but I am a huge sucker for tie-dye, um, and I just absolutely love it. The material is so soft and buttery, and I'm so obsessed with it. And then I picked up a few tops, and actually Gap had a 40% off sale, so I got this basic coral striped um, t-shirt just to throw on with shorts. Again, I got this for 40% off at Gap. They do 40% off all the time, so I think I paid like $15 for it with the coupon they were running that day. I also got the same shirt in this very light powder blue. It was also 40% off, and I am a size small in these two, the two striped ones. They are looser fit. And then I also got the same kind of colors in these t-shirts at Gap. These are sort of like a vintage wash, and they're more form-fitting. Um, and these I had to size up to a medium because they are more form-fitting, and the small was too tight in my chest area. So I got a blue and a coral, and these again were also 40% off. I think with the coupon they were like $13 or so. And just basic, again, these are something I would throw on and you could put a cute necklace, some sandals, and it really dresses it up and gives the outfit a little bit more style. So I got those four tops. I got some bottoms as well. So I got these shorts at Marshalls the same day that I got the dresses. The 90s style is so in right now. A lot of those dresses that I showed you, um, except the first one, are very like 90s style. So these reminded me of the 90s as well, sort of that acid wash look. And they're just like an elastic waist. There's no button or zipper. The back just looks like this. And they're just super easy to throw on with like a tank top or a flowy shirt. And they were only, I think, $9.99. So even though, again, this is a perfect example, guys, of something that's trendy right now, this acid wash. I would not spend a lot of money on these because of the fact that next year these would be probably out of sight as far as um, you know on being on trend. So for inexpensive items that are really trendy, like again this acid wash, I won't spend a lot of money. So these were $9.99, they look super cute, they're really comfortable. Again at Marshalls, the brand is Indigo Rain, if you can see that. I got these in the junior section and I did get a medium because the small was too tight on my butt. So this is what those look like. And then a couple, a few higher ticket items that I got. I got a pair of cropped jeans. The brand is Rock Revival. I've worn these and posted a picture on my Instagram a few times. And a, uh, actually, a bunch of people have asked what brand they were or where I got them. So this is how I hang my jeans. But I'm going to go ahead and take the leg part down so you can see them. Again, these are a cropped jean. So I just cuff them at the bottom. Um, I love the embellishments on the butt, and I also really love the side embellishment here. And of course, the color is really what sold me. I like a lighter denim for the spring and summer. They have some distressing on them, but nothing too obnoxious. Now these, this brand, Rock Revival, I got these at Buckle. This brand is expensive. These were over $100. I think they were between like $120 and $150. But again, I keep my jeans for a long time. Jeans are something that I spend money on because I keep them so long. And then other items like dresses or tops, I won't spend as much money on to compensate for that. So these I will have for a long time and I really love how they look, how they fit. I will try these on for you as well. I also got at Buckle these jeans here. They are the Miss Me brand. Um, and they have these really pretty pocket embellishments on the back, but I love that you, the pocket is still functional. So the flap is just for show and you can actually put stuff right in the back pocket. 
The bottom of these are sort of frayed and distressed. Let me go ahead and open these up. And again, they're a lighter denim. And these were also over $100. Miss Me and Rock Revival are expensive. These have some more distressing on the front, but I'm, I've always loved the distressed look. Um, so I don't mind that at all. And it's not super obnoxious where it's up and down the whole leg. So I really like these. Love the cut of them. These are also cropped, if you can tell. And they're just really, really cute. And I'm a size 27 in Miss Me and Rock Revival, um, which I think that equates to like a four. So just for reference, if anybody's curious to try these on, um, you sh the, at Buckle, they have awesome selections of them. Let me show you guys these shoes that I got. been posting on my Instagram they are the black fringy sandals that I also got a buckle and I actually have these in the light tan color I'm trying to give you guys a closer view and I was kicking myself for not getting them in black so now I have them in black I absolutely am obsessed with these they are so comfortable they're $39.99 um, and I have again these in the tan and this color as well and I've been loving these I will show you guys these with some dresses that I'm gonna try on and then I also got these here, they are actually Birkenstocks, but they are not the leather Birkenstocks. Um, they are like a different material, and these are much, much cheaper because Birkenstocks are super expensive, as you guys know, and the leather ones will run you like over $100 to $150. These guys were $34.95 at Nordstrom. They're a little bit dirty because I actually wear all my clothes, all my shoes. Um, I don't just kind of wear them around the house, I wear them out. So. They are so comfortable. They're like a foamy material. They have a little tiny bit of a shine to them, but not like a patent shine. And the straps are adjustable. I got a size eight or an eight and a half. I think I got an eight. Um, and they're super cute. And for $35 to get the look of Birkenstocks, and they are Birkenstocks, except just a different material, I thought that was a really good idea um, and a really good concept. And they were they are super, super comfortable. And then lastly, I got the shorts I have on now in this video. These are by Miss Me, which is also a brand from Buckle. And I like how the pockets are a little bit longer here. They're frayed a little bit. The pockets have some like embroidery on them on both sides, so I thought it was a nice touch. I really like the color of these. And then the back just has like the embellishment um, on them as well. And I really, really love these so also from buckle so let me go ahead now and show you guys some try on pictures or images i haven't decided yet pictures or video and show you guys what the dresses look like and the jeans as well okay guys so this is the first dress um, that i'm going to try on it is that charcoal gray and black tie-dye with that mock turtleneck so it doesn't go up all the way to your chin and as you can see these are so flattering these hide any problem areas I feel like they would look good on so many different body types as well as so many different heights. I'm about 5'4", an average size, so I really love it. I think it's so easy to wear, so comfortable, and I actually have it paired. Hopefully you guys can see my sandals with these because I'm filming this with no help today. So hopefully this, you know, comes out right where you can see my shoes. So I just have those black um, fringy sandals on with these, and it's so easy to wear. I feel like I could wear this anywhere. I feel confident in it. I feel stylish in it. Here is the black striped one. I still have the tag on. I absolutely love this. As you can tell guys, these are all these dresses are a lot of a lot of them are the same style where it's just flowy. Um, if you wanted to accentuate your waist, you could always wear a belt and you know right up here and kind of cinch your waist in. I personally don't have a thin like a tiny waist. I never have. I've always had a thicker waist. So I don't bother with a belt just because it's more comfortable for me to just wear it flowy like this. And I also just pair these with the fringy sandals and or I would throw the Birkenstocks on with these with any of these that have black in them. And it's also just super cute and easy to wear. And for $12.99, I feel like it's really hard to find a cute little dress like this. And I absolutely love this one as well. I think this is my favorite one, this red one. I don't wear a lot of red, but for some reason this one really caught my eye and I really am loving it. Um, I could also throw the, the black Birkenstocks on with these too because it's just so casual and easy to wear and I, I just love it. 
It just feels so good and so comfortable, but I don't feel frumpy. And I'm loving these dresses. I've really hit the jackpot at Marshalls this year. Definitely go and check them out, guys. And I would recommend checking out TJ Maxx as well. This is the one I got from Target. Same sort of style as the other two guys. Again, with any of these dresses, you could put a belt on like a skinny belt or a chunky belt to accentuate your waist because it definitely makes you look a little bit boxy because it's loose right here. So, but I don't mind it at all, I love it. And I actually threw on the black Birkenstocks with this dress. I just thought it looked better with the Birkenstocks for this particular one, but I love it and got it at Target. Dress I showed you guys, it is a very light powder Carolina blue with this sort of white embroidery right here and then like a white pattern. I absolutely love this dress. When I saw it on the hanger, I just thought it was so cute. And actually my mom was with me when I got this and she loved this dress on me. So this dress I would probably pair with the fringe sandals with the ones in tan because I feel like the black ones might be too harsh with this color. So I would wear the fringe sandals, the tan ones with this dress, but I absolutely love this. I think it's so comfortable and cute and it's very unique and different. I feel like it has more of a, um, a unique style to it than the other ones as far as the way that it looks and I really love it. The Rock Revival jeans that I got at Buckle, these are the lighter colored ones. I have been living in these. I really love the stitching down the side and around the pocket and I like them because they're comfortable, they're really good quality um, and I actually have like no hips and for some reason this brand of jeans fits me really well. Um, a lot of times when you have no hips or small hips, I feel like it's always hard to find jeans that are flattering, but I really like these. Again, the back has the embellishment on them, and these are jeans that I'll have for a super long time. Um, I love that they're cropped so I can throw flip-flops or sandals on, but also in the winter I could throw high boots on them, uh, you know, over them, and you wouldn't even know they were cropped. So I really love these. I'm so glad I got them. And if you're looking for a great brand or pair of jeans, I would definitely recommend the Rock Revival brand. All right, guys, these are the other pair of jeans that I got. These are the Miss Me jeans that have the distressing and the rips on them as well. And they have some distressing, kind of like a frayed bottom. And I just paired it with this, just super easy, casual gap shirt. Um, and out the door I go. So it's, I'm all about being comfortable. That's my number one thing, being comfortable. Um, and also, you know, when you look good, you feel good. I've said this before in many videos. So I just need things that are easy to throw on and then dress up or down with a necklace, a, you know, some bracelets, a cute pair of shoes. But I absolutely love these jeans. I'll have them for a long time. Same thing with these. I can wear them in the summer rolled up with sandals or I can wear them in the winter with boots over them and very flattering. Uh, again, I got these at Buckle. It's one of my favorite stores to get jeans at in particular. Um, I'm never a huge fan of their tops. Um, sometimes I'll find a cute one, but mainly when I go to Buckle, it's for their jeans and their shoes. They have super cute shoes, boots, super cute boots in the winter, sandals in the summer. Um, and this is what they look like. They just have the embellishments all over them. And again, they fit me really well, um, especially for somebody who has very small hips. I've never had big hips. Um, and it's sometimes it's challenging to find jeans that look okay. Um, and I feel like these are really comfortable and cute and I absolutely love them. So I hope you guys liked this clothing haul. And if you did, definitely let me know so I can do more of them. Um, if you like the try on pictures, you know, that kind of thing. I love doing them for you to give you ideas for your own shopping excursions. So I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.